Have you ever watched a movie and not remembered if you liked it or not? I have a few ideas to solve that problem. Hey everyone, it's Denise from About the Oscars. And if you are new to my channel, that is awesome and I'm happy to have you. I'm pretty new here myself. I just started this channel a few weeks ago. I am fascinated by the Oscars and I hope to get you excited about the Oscars too. Last week, I posted a video on two movie guides in book form, which I found on Amazon. And I will post a link to that video below. I'm pretty excited because I feel like these books are going to make my Oscar movie organization so much better. Actually, that's not really true because I didn't have any movie organization before. So these will be the start of my movie organization. But right after I found these books, because I'm spending a lot more time learning about the movie industry, I came across a cool online social network for movie fans called Letterboxd. And on Letterboxd, you can track all of the films you've watched, rate each film on a five-star scale, and then write and share reviews with other people. You can set up lists of films by whatever topic you want, as well as keep a watch list of films that you want to see in the future. My first list will be Oscar winners, my second list will be up and coming 2021 Oscar contenders. And my third list will be for movies and performances, which I felt should have won, but didn't. But that's a topic for a future video. So stay tuned for that. So now you have two options, old school writing it down in a notebook or new school tracking your movie watching online which is very similar to Goodreads if you use that for books. So I will put the Letterbox website below and it is free to use, but they do have two low cost paid versions at 19 and $49 for the year, which seems like a good deal to me. Now that I think about it, it sounds like they are sponsoring me for this video and someday when I have enough subscribers, maybe they will. So please like and subscribe so Letterbox calls me. Okay, kidding aside, the cool thing about Letterboxd is that you can follow other people when you find someone who has similar taste in movies. And if you check it out, I promise you that you will find movies that you've never even heard about before. If there's one thing I have learned in the past month, it's that there are some serious movie lovers out there, many of whom are using this network. Now, I did use Letterboxd website to look up where to watch Citizen Kane, and this is what they provided. I just made a video about Citizen Kane and the upcoming movie Mank, which you can find here. I also found another online service called Tracked, which is a platform that tracks your movies that you've watched, but it does it automatically. Now, I'm not 100% sold on the idea of a service that is auto-connecting to my streaming apps, but it is an option if you're interested. Sometimes I feel that the internet of things is taking over my life, but some people really like that on automation, so it is an option for you. And I just wanted to ask everyone, does anybody else remember Siskel and Ebert? Because reading all of the reviews on Tract and Letterbox made me remember that I used to watch Siskel and Ebert every week on Saturdays. I totally watched to see all about their thumbs up or their thumbs down. And the funny thing that as a kid, we hardly ever went to the movies in the 70s and the 80s. Now they have both passed away. And when I looked up when they died, I happened to come across a bunch of old show footage on YouTube. So I'm going to go check that out later. Now, if you decide you sign up for Letterboxd, find me under About the Oscars. Until next time, have a great day. Mm -hmm.